Okay, so that kind of covers what's happening now, what the costs are now. So we next needed to consider how are these costs going to change if the 10 districts collaborate to serve 50 coaches. And as I mentioned to you, we were expecting some economies of scale, some things to be unchanged, and some added costs for the coordination time. So what we found is that for five out of the six professional learning activities, we could obtain economies of scale. I'm going to go through two of them in detail. Um, the last professional learning activity was unchanged, and then we had to consider new costs. So let me just do a couple of the uh, take, show you a couple of ways in which savings were made. I'm going to pick here the second item on the slide, the Train the Trainer Summer Institute, which takes place for four days. And the first thing to say is that you know, they expected the same number of people to attend in both situations, whether it was done by the uh, individual districts or all the districts together. So here the, uh, the sum cost would be unchanged, things like food and materials, travel reimbursement, stipends, and honoraria for the coaches. The things that would change was the cost per presenter. And right now, districts are paying $1,500 each for the presenters. And each district is spending two days a year organizing this particular activity. If you remember, the cost of one day was $608, so the cost for two, $1,200. So right now, each district is spending $2,700 for the presenters and organization time. Multiply that by 10, you get your 27000 If they collaborate, they can do one institute for all 10 districts. The presenter costs are going to go up because they're serving 50 people at once, and they probably want to have multiple concurrent sessions to serve a wider range of needs and interests. Uh, organization time will go down to a quarter of a day per district, so that's the $608 times a quarter. It just gives you $152 per district, total of $1,500 for all 10 districts. So you can see that for all 10 districts, the institute would be about $4,500. That's quite a lot less than the $2,700 if each district does this individually. So the projected savings for the 10 districts is $22,000, 22640 Divide that by 10, that gives you the savings per district. So the other one I was just going to mention, because it shows the travel cost differences, is the monthly coaching seminar. Where's my arrow gone? Come back. Here we go. OK, so this one. Right now, they're doing six sessions a year, and the fees for those are $2,000 per session. And each district is paying this, so that's $120,000 across all 10 districts. The travel costs are really high, because the coaches are all traveling an average of 100 miles back and forth from USM, paying the $8 a toll. So it's like $60 of travel cost per coach. That adds up for 50 coaches to over $3,000. If they do a collaboration, USM has agreed to come and deliver the seminars locally. So they're going to pay $24,000 for the shared cohort format. The travel costs are going to go down quite substantially because the teachers are traveling an average of 24 miles rather than 100. No toll. So it's a 24 by 53 and a half cents. Gives you almost $13 per coach. So we have a total for 50 coaches of $640, quite a bit less than the travel costs over here. So this is where the big savings are because the session itself costs $96,000 less and travel costs are reduced by almost $2,500. And then if you look at the per district amount, uh, just a tenth of that. So the last thing I just wanted to mention here, because this is a little tricky to figure out, um, the district curriculum leader time was also going to change as a result of this collaboration. And if you remember originally in the current situation, Anita and Heidi figured that they were spending 10 days uh, planning and organizing all these activities. So if, if each district has that going on, that's 
about $61,000 for all the districts. In a collaboration, they figured that they would probably just need a two-person leadership team. Each of those people would need to spend 10 days on the planning and organization for all the districts. And then each of the 10 districts would need one day to coordinate with the leaders. So that's a total of 30 days across all the districts. And, uh, and that amounts to about $18,000. So again, pretty big savings there. But Eight of districts are seeing those savings, and the two who have the leaders spending pretty much the same amount of time and a little bit extra there would be experiencing additional costs. So um, some of the costs wouldn't change. The consultation, the individual consultation, the stipends to coaches, and some of the materials costs weren't going to change at all. Do note that if you have durable materials, you can spread those costs out over multiple years. 